Welcome to the Cunningham Piano Show, where we explore life between the keys. I'm your host, Hugh Sung, and I have a wonderfully precocious young pianist. His name is William Gu. Did I say it right? Yep. Yay! <laughs> William, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. How old are you? I'm 10 years old. And how long have you been playing the piano? About six years. Wonderful. And who do you study with? I study with Miss Natalie Jewell. You know, Natalie and I actually went to the Curtis Institute of Music together. She's a fantastic pianist. How is she as a teacher? Uh, she's nicely strict. Nicely strict. <laughs> in a mean way or in a nice way, how would you describe her strictness? Uh, it's more like funny. <laughs> in a funny, strict way? That's yeah. an interesting way of putting it. Very, very cool. Now, William, what do you enjoy most about playing the piano? I like how you can express like different feelings that words can't put into, say, like if you were really sad but had some sort of other mixture of feeling in it and you couldn't like, you can't, you can't just say like, I'm so sad because that wouldn't suit it. You, you should, so you could like go on the piano and play something. That's interesting that you talk about words because you're actually quite a precocious reader. You love to read, but you also love to write. Poetry. Your mother was showing me that you've written a whole book of poetry. Tell, tell, tell me a little bit about your love of reading. So I like lots of like far-fetched stuff in reading, like time travel or magic. And poetry is more like whenever I'm in the mood, I just scribble down a couple lines. And it's interesting that music is very much like a language in and of itself, too, isn't it? Yes. When you don't have the words, you can just go to your music. Wonderful. So tell us, you've got some really interesting pieces that you're going to play for us. What are you going to play? So I'm going to play the lark, and I'm also going to play the cat and the mouse. Oh, some animal pieces there. Tell us a little bit about the lark. Who's it by? So the lark is by Mikhail Glinka, who originally wrote it for um, multiple instruments and a uh, voice, but then... The version that I'm going to be playing today is uh, rearranged by Bella Carew for the piano. And then so how I understand it is like two birds are far across and they're trying to get each other. And then like they have all sorts of hard things to get through, but in the end they're finally together. Oh, that sounds so romantic. And tell us a little bit about the, uh, the cat and the mouse. The cat and the mouse is more funny, but... Copeland based it off this fable called The Old Cat and the Young Mouse. So the young mouse is super hungry and he's searching for food. And then the old cat catches him, but he's like, no, please don't eat me. But then the old cat eats him. So oh. it's kind of violent. But then, so I like to put it in Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry, the, the cat and mouse cartoon. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking that would be a... A perfect kind. Well, I'm really eager to hear what this piece sounds like and to see if it could be a kind of a cartoon kind of a piece. So here's a, an interesting thing about the show is that we invite our guests to choose from a range of pianos. And William, I see that you've chosen this Estonia L168. Why did you choose these, this piano for these two pieces? So it's very soft, but it's light as well. So it's a good combination. And the higher notes are they can project the sound extremely well because like at home my piano is like I'm banging them as hard as I can and it's just like tink 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 tink. <laughs> so you've got, you, can, you appreciate the singing upper register of this piano. Yeah. All right, great. I can't wait to hear you play these pieces.
William, that was fantastic. Incredible playing. The, the lark is a very difficult piece, isn't it? Yeah. It made it sound almost effortless, and it really sounded like birds flying. And that cat and mouse piece was straight out of a Tom and Jerry cartoon. I can tell you've seen a lot of those cartoons. Like it's, it was like it was like watching the cartoon, but in musical notes. If that makes any sense. Yeah. You did such a fantastic job. Again, thank you so much for being on the show and playing so brilliantly. Thank you. Absolutely. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know whenever we have new ones. For the Cunningham Piano Show, I'm Hugh Sung. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.